you are looking to create an engaging PPT for your online class. You can do this with zero design expertise and engage students with videos, polls and questions in your online class using PPT slides. Hi, I am Vaishak from Dermis and in this video, I will share 6 tips to create an engaging online class using slides with zero design experience. So let's jump straight into this video. Let us start with tip number 1. Download free editable templates from Slidesgo. Now just go to slidesgo.com and in the search bar, choose the free option and just search for a term like finance. Now use the sort by popular filter option. Preview the slides and click on a popular slide that you like. You can now choose the Google Slides or PowerPoint option to download this template. As a time saver tip, download 10 to 15 favorite templates you plan to reuse in advance. Now organize them into folders like this. Tip number 2. Edit the templates. To edit the template, simply open the PPT and select a slide. To change the title or body text, type it in or paste it without the formatting option and you are good to go. As a basic editing tip, use a font size of 40 for your headlines and 25 for your body text. To change the fonts, just open the slides and select the fonts from the fonts drop down. To change the font color, select a color text option and choose a color. Use a light color background slide with a black or dark blue text. Next, to brand all your PPT slides with your logo easily, click on view and select the theme builder option. Now click on the theme slide and click the insert image option. Upload a logo from your system and adjust its size and place it on the top left or right corner. Tip number 3. Mix and match slides from different templates. You can copy a slide from a template and paste it into the desired place within your current PPT. To match the colors with your current theme, choose the match styles option while importing. To change the colors, you can click on the element and simply pick the right color from the color palette. Tip number 4. Add content. Remember to use minimal text and more images in your PPT. Split the big paragraphs into short 2-3 to three bullet points and each bullet point should have only 5-6 to six words. This makes reading very easy. To add a new text, click on the text box icon and insert the text. You can simply copy the text from the template and paste it into it. To add images, click on the insert option, select image and choose to upload from the computer. To add video, click on the insert video and choose the video from your Google Drive or YouTube URL. Before presenting, do a test run with your team or friends and check if all of this works. Tip number 5. Order the slides and add animations. To order the slide scenes, you can click on a slide, drag and place it below another slide. To add animations, click on an element like text or image and click insert animation option. Click on the animation tab on the right side and select an effect like fade in or fly in. To delete an animation, just select the delete option. To make two elements like title and subtitles to appear on a click, press ctrl and click both the elements. And now 
apply the transition effect. You can also add animation to two elements and decide the order of its appearance. Once done, click on the play button to play the effect. Once you're satisfied, click on the file and download the file as a PPT, image or PDF. Tip number 6. Rename the slides and store the slides. After saving all the changes, save the file within a folder structure as a course name, section name and lesson name. Name your PPT based on the lesson name and save it within the lesson folder. With this, we have completed all the steps you need to create an awesome PPT that you can use for recording your course videos or live classes. And now for the bonus tip. For your live online classes, polls, quizzes are a great way to interact with your students. You can add these elements to your Google Slides or Microsoft PPT using a plugin called Slido. Go to your Google Slide add-ons and click on Get Add-ons. From here, install the plugin called Slido. After installing Slido, select Slido from the add-ons and open the sidebar option. Now select the MCQ option. Here you can add questions and options and click on Add to the presentation. This creates a poll in your slide along with a six digit number. You can share the link to the poll in the chat box during your live classes with your students. Students can take this poll by going to slido.com and entering the six digit number. Students will then see the updates live and this will create a very good interaction. As an admin, you can also see the results on your slides live. You can use this plugin to create other interactions like leaderboard quizzes, Q&A, leaving a session rating and so on. I hope this video helped you to create an awesome PPT for your online class. If you found this video helpful, please like the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get more such notifications. Do comment a yes and let us know which of these tips you will be using to create your PPT for your online class. So until next time, see you, take care and bye bye.